السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Okay, inshallah, we'll start soon. Just give me maybe another minute or so. Uh, let's see if we can look at some screen. Yeah. All right. All right. Is it big enough? Can you guys see the screen? Yes. Okay. All right, inshallah. So, Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala rasooli al-kareem. Awz billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. With Allah's mercy, we are here once again. And Jazakallah khairan for coming. Uh, may Allah reward you all for being consistent and seeking the knowledge. Um, you know, since we started this new um, format of analyzing things, do you know what session number we are at right now? No. Nine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Today's our 30th session or 29th session. Like we no, have talking... been meeting twice a week, right? Oh, no, no. I was talking about the... Uh, oh, the worst. Okay. The so worst. Yeah. We talk about that. Yeah. Uh, we did, you know, Surah Fatiha, mashallah. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, we also, uh, remember, we also did A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And then almost <clears throat> eight verses in Surah Al-Baqarah. But overall, <clears throat> since we changed our direction a little bit, this is our... 29th or almost 30th session. Okay. Okay. This is good, good news. I'm trying to share something positive with you. And inshallah, okay. this is uh, benefiting and this is uh, acceptance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are keep coming back. So today, or in, in, in the, so I, on Mondays, I focused mainly on the Quranic verses like Surah Al-Baqarah right now we're doing. Uh, but on Thursdays, I try to take the opportunity to Uh, take us back on the review path and so that we are also uh, making sure that our concepts are getting stronger and stronger, right? So you would agree with me that in the last 30 sessions or 29 sessions, we have been talking about everything we have learned, whether it's a phrase, whether it's a jumla, whether it was a noun, fail, harf, everything possible. Now, recently, what we have been doing we have been uh, doing the Jumla Ismiya. You guys remember from last time that we started to look at some Jumla Ismiya? I'm going to use the orange color today. Let's see if that makes any difference. Okay. So uh, can I request everybody to unmute themselves? And, and I hope that you guys have a paper and a pencil. Yeah. Because this review should only make you stronger and and help you with any of the, uh, you know, shortcomings or areas where you're doubtful or not very clear. Okay, so I'm just going to take you back and try to explain to you different parts of Joomla Ismiya. And in the process, we can 
ask each other some question, but mainly my goal is to, to refresh your memory about Joomla Islam. So first of all, what is a Joomla? It's a com compound, word it's compound. A it's a compound. So compound is a compound, or if I write it here, What is the Arabic name for compound? Barakab. Okay. Murakab. If, if we look at the category of Murakab, if you look at category, incomplete, complete. We have two categories. Okay. Right? We have the tam and nakis. And nakis. And nakis. So this this information you are really good at, right? Now you have no more confusion over here. Correct. So people from India, Pakistan, this tam is also tamam. tamam. Okay. If we write it in a English manner, we can say this is complete. And this is defective. Nakis is defective, or we can say incomplete. So far, so good? Mm. Okay. So these are some prerequisites. You need to know this. So when we come to Tham, we have something called a Jumla. And what are the two categories of Jumla? Jumla Smiya and Jumla Fi'liya. MashaAllah. Smiya, Jumla, Fi'liya. Got it? And here, you can also call them, you can call this a sentence if this is English, and here you can call them fragments or, phrase. or phrases. Okay? And there are four different kinds of phrases or five. We have looked at uh, Murakkab, Jari, Jari, Murakkab, Jari, Murakkab, Tosifi, Murakkab, Izafi, right? So these are the four main ones we have looked at, okay? Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Brother Javed, you're good with this? Sure. Okay. I'm better be. Okay, so then we looked at, we said, okay, we're gonna talk about Jumla Ismiya today, okay? Inshallah. So we need to know, first of all, the parts of nominal, nominal sentence, okay? One of them is muptada, and the other one is khabar, okay? There is another one which uh, we need to know and it, it gets used and it's called Mutalik Okay, so there are three main components. Number one, Muqtada, number two, Khabar, and Mutalik Khabar is number three, okay? And we know why we call it Muqtada is because its word is from the word Ibtada. What is the meaning of Ibtada? Start. Okay, so when we have a nominal sentence, it's going to start with what? With noun. Start with a noun. That's the number one thing. If you see a noun, uh, the, the sentence starting with a noun, right away your, your mind will go to Jumla Ismiya. And you know that this noun is a starting point, so you're gonna call it Muktada. Got it? Is that clear? The jargon is clear here? Yeah. Okay. So Muktada is the starting point. Okay. The second thing is, it's telling me something about the Muktada. The second thing, the Khabar, uh, in English, the Muktada is called subject. And the khabar is called predicate. Are we good with this? Okay. 
So when we start with a noun and it's a muptada, let's call it M, it's giving me some information about this muptada. So that something detail is the khabar of or the muptada. Is that is that good? So detail about muptada is khabar. Okay. Let's look at some sentences in plain English. Allah is merciful. Is that a complete sentence? Yeah. Yes. So when you are dealing with something like this, you look at the is part, right? Anything before the is, is? Anything after that is? Okay. Now, let's see. Abid is present in the house. So, who is the sentence starting with? What is the muqtada? Abid. If, if other people can also join in, then I will understand that they also get it. Okay. So after this, there are two things. We have present and we also have in the house. So what is the khabar? Khabar and mutalib khabar. Present is khabar. Khabar is present. And the additional details is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so brother Abid, just for clarification here. Yes. So, mutalik khabar is a further detail about khabar. It's not about mubtada. Yes, it's a more, it's a mutalik khabar. It is additional detail about the khabar. That's why it's known as mutalik khabar. Mutalik khabar, yeah. In the yes. Jumla Feliya, yeah. when we get the additional information, we call it, it's mutalik fail. It's like referring to khabar. Say that again, Jalbhai. In reference to khabar. Reference yes, to khabar. Yeah. So when you say mutalik khabar, like mm -hmm. he's present, Abid is present, but where is he present? In the house. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So now, what is the criteria which, uh, if we want to write this information in uh, Arabic, we need to know because in Arabic there is no is. Can I keep the background noise to move the mic, please? Yeah, let's see. Uh, that's just a computer. Somebody in the. Okay. All right. So in Arabic, there is no is, am, or are. Right? So how do we get that in the sentence? So that comes from a from a combination. <coughs> okay. And they are the combination of the rules based on the noun and the four properties, which is the gender, the number, the capacity, and the status. Status. Okay. So our recipe for Jumla Ismiya is that Muktada and Khabar, their capacity is proper noun, and this one is common noun. Which is in Arabic, Marifa. Marifa, Nakira. And then this is Nakira. 
Everybody clear on that? Yes. Mubtada is Rafa in the status. And Khabar is also Rafa. Rafa. Okay. And the number and the gender, they are follow. Okay. So when you have this uh, recipe, then the concept of is, am, or are, are is introduced in the sentence. Okay. So what did we say? We said Allah is merciful. Okay. In English, we start from the left. In Arabic, we start from the right. All right. So who is our Muqtada? Allah. Allah. So I'm not putting any harakal yet, but I'm just putting the plain Arabic first. Allah and merciful is? Khabar. Uh, Khabar, right? Yes. Yeah. But what is the Arabic for the merciful? Rahman, Rahim. 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 Okay. So if I say Allah Rahim, then I need to get the meaning Allah is merciful. So I need to make sure that this, these two Arabic nouns, because in this case, they're both nouns, right? Yeah. Uh, so is Allah, how do I make Allah Muqtada? What do I put the haraka on Allah? Uh, 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 what is the uh, brother um, Kabir? Is Allah marifa or nakira? Allah marfa. Allah is marfa. So we know that P is there. Yeah. Yes. How do I make Allah rafa? Put a dhamma. So Allah who? Right? Allah. Everybody else see this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then we got the P and we got the R on the Muqtada side. And on the negative, on the left side, I need to have a C and an R, correct? Yeah. So is Rahim common or proper? It's common. common. It's common. How do I make Rahim in Rafa? By Dhamma. 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 Right? Why did I put one Dhamma on Allah? Because of the al. al. Allah is the harfi jalala. It already has the al inside. That's the beauty of the name of Allah, that al is part of it. So when we have Allah, so can we have tanween here? Allahun? Can we say no. Allahun? No. 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 We say Allahu, and then this is supposed to be nakara and rafa. So what is the rafa of Rahim? Rahimun. Rahimun. Okay. Then Allah is single, right? Yes. And uh, we consider Allah male, right? Yeah. So we got that, we got that, we got that. And is Rahim single? Yes. And the is Rahim male? Yes. Yes. So this combination of this rules gives me the meaning of Allah is merciful. Okay. Any questions on this so far? Sister Nusra? Yes, uh, I'm clear on this one. Alhamdulillah. You're clear on this one. Okay. All right. So, this is how you come up with this combination. So, now going back to the one sentence we did last time. If you guys remember, we were here. Do you remember this one? Brother Abed question over here yes and maybe it's a refreshing for me yes so we we did allah is merciful yes uh, but if we want to say let's say was so i will not put here but I, if i say abid was present so yeah. how we will write it there is a word called kana abid was present yes so kana put... kana is a word which is used for was were stuff like that Okay. Okay. And we can look at some examples of that when we come to that. Okay. But for right now, if this basic concept is clear, then we can move forward. Right. And I think most of you are clear on this by now because I must have repeated more than 100 times all this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
so so again uh, anybody who is not clear on this the whole purpose of me repeating it is for the for the sake that anybody who's left behind right now is not up to the speed then this is the time to ask questions okay so uh, the, kindly the people who are logged in and i know most of you are muted so if you guys can help me out uh, sister fazilat are you clear on this Yes, Alhamdulillah, brother, I'm clear on this one. Okay. Uh, okay. A anybody else, if they have any problem right now, this is the time to please ask. Okay. All right. So, let's see what Muqtada and Khabar is. Are we clear on the recipe? Yes. Okay. So then we can, we need to ask ourselves uh, who can be Muqtada? If you're making a sentence right away, what are the, what are the tasks you have to do? You have to determine what's the Muqtada. Okay. If Muqtada is supposed to be Marifa, yes? Then how many categories we have of marifa? How many categories we have? Five. Five. What are, what are, what is this? Alam. 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 Zamin, right? Ishara. So the other one is Zamin. Ishara. Number three is Zamir. Right. Number four is Mar. Ismail Mosul. Ismail Mosul. Number five is Maraf Bil Okay. So if Alam, I can say something like Zaidun Salehun. Okay. Now on the names, this Zaidun it is still considered pura, or I mean proper. Okay. Because it's a name. And it is allowed to have a tanween on a name because it's alam. Got it? Yes. So, so if you do the, the thing, this is proper, this is the rafa, and this is male and a single. Got it? Yes. Similarly, this is common, and this is uh, rafa, and this is male, and this is single. Ishara is also considered marifa. So right away, anything to do with the ishara is a good candidate for my muqtada. Okay, so I'm, I can say haza kitabun. Apply the rules. Okay, what is haza? Haza is marifa, right? Yes. Right? Now, haza is also mabni. Yes. So yes. I, can, I can take it in any which way, it's still going to be haza. Correct. So I need Rafa. It's still gonna be Haza. Is it male? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is it single? Yes. yes. Now Kitabun is common. Nakira. Common. Right? It is Nakira because common Kitabun is Rafa. It's a male and singular. So look at this. So you can say this is a book. Yeah. Now, what well, the reason I was uh, Sister Noor is not here. But last time, uh, Brother uh, Altaf and she was uh, trying to correct me about one thing. Uh, I think she was trying to correct me on this one, Zalik al Kitabu. And the translation is that is the book. So she is right, this is wrong. Because this is a Murakabe Ishari and not a complete sentence. Brother Altaf, you, you okay on this? I'm, I'm trying to remember what was the... <laughs> so, let's see. There is a Zalika. Yeah, you were mentioning this is a, a Murakabi Shari. Brother yes, so I, 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 now you, I remember. We said yeah, it I'll is... I'll tell you which one he was saying that this is Murakabi uh, Toshifi or Ishari. Ishari, because Zalika he was is... Saying, uh, yeah, he was saying this uh, Haza Yomun or Zalika Yomun is Murakabi Ishari. Yeah. 
And I was telling him, no, this is a sentence. And then Sister Noor brought out that, okay, yes, she agreed with me that she's a sentence, but this one she did not agree. And she was right. And I didn't want her to stop the lesson at that time. So basically I wanted to answer her today, but she's probably not available or maybe she'll join us uh, in a little bit, okay? So let's look at these two examples. So there is a Zali Kal Kitabu and there is Zali Yomun, okay? So let's go to the camera. So brother Altaf, Zalika is a Shara. Is yes. Yeah. So we know that it is that proper. Okay. Yeah. And we know that is Zalik is also Mabni. Is, so is, I can take it Rafa. Rafa. Yeah. And then I know this is a male and it's a singular. It's a singular. Right. But here Al Kitabu is also Marifa. It's Marifa. Right. It is a Rafa. It is male and it is single. Single. But this combination does not provide the is. Yes. You see the point? Why is it a murakkabe shari? Yes. And not a sentence? Because does everybody if, see this? Yeah, but if, it, if it is zalikal kitabun, then it will be like a sentence. Yes. Yeah? If it was zalikal kitab, zalika kitabun, then it would have been fine. So the other sentence we have is this. Zalika yawmun. So yaw Mun. So here we have proper, we also have um, Rafa, we also have Zalika in male, and then we have sing singular. Yes. And right. Yomun is also common. common. Rafa, male, and singular. So this way, you see why I was saying that this is a Murakkab Eishari, and this is a sentence, murakkaba. this is a murakkaba tam. Yes. Okay, because this combination brings the meaning of is. Okay. Is that everybody clear on this one? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Sisters, one yes. more chance before I ask you the questions. Oh, Alhamdulillah, brother, we are Okay, very good. I like the confidence. So let's say the sentence is the. Okay, before I go there, I want to probably. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, the girl is pretty. Okay, so. Who can tell me? Let me pick some uh, somebody. Sister Dara, can I start with you? Sure. Okay. So, can you tell me, first of all, in English sentence, where is Muktada? Uh, girl, the girl. The girl is Muktada. Very good. And where is the khabar? Pretty. Pretty. Okay. So, that is the khabar. Correct. So yes. now, could you please tell me the Arabic for this sentence? Can you translate this in Arabic or can you write this in Arabic? Can you help me out? Al bintu Jamila. Al, Al bintu. Bintu. Jamil. Jamil. Jamilan or. Jamila. Jamila. Tamarbuta. Jamila. Jamila. So how do we understand this? That you why why you said al bintu the the proper noun okay okay so you said al bintu jamila correct so this mm -hmm. is this is marifa which is proper this yeah. is rafa right this is female and it's singular singular right yes. jamila is common is rafa is female female and then singular so the only difference is the first. The common and capacity. proper noun. So, Alhamdulillah, if you get that, that's very good. So we can say boy is smart. Okay. So, Brother Kabir. Huh? 
Hello, huh? hello, do the taking. Okay, so you're saying uh, you want to do it. That's fine. So Muktada is boy, 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 and Khabar is smart. smart, smart. Okay, so please give me the Arabic of this. Alwaladu. Okay, wait. Let Sister Nusrat do it. Alwalad Zaki. Alwalidu. Alwal. Alwalidu. Zakiun. Inshallah, very good job. Now, why did you say Alwaladu, even though I did not put the boy? Waladun Zakiun. So you are saying that this is Waladun Zakiun? Yeah. Okay. So you were right here and you were wrong here. Now, let's analyze. Is Al Waladu proper? Yes. Is it Rafa? Yes. Is it male? Yes. Is it singular? Yes. Yes. Is Zaki on common? Yes. Is it Rafa? Yes. <clears throat> male? Yeah. Singular. Yeah. Both check out. Right? Because if you go Waladun, Waladun is common, is yeah. Rafa, is male, is singular. Male. Singular. And Zaki on is C R M S. Do you see what happened? Both are common. Both, Both are, are common. common. So this one becomes Murakabe Tosifi. Tosifi. You said smart boy. Smart boy. You see the difference now? Boy is smart or smart boy. So this is a phrase or fragment. Okay. Or, and this one is. This is Nakis. So this is Nakis, yes. Murakab. Nakis. And other one is Murakkab Tam. Oh, yes, Murakkab Tam. So, na. No, I think something Tami. like that. Okay. All right. So, do you, do, is that helping you understand that how do we, with a little one mistake with the, if we don't understand the ara, if we don't understand the, uh, the, the capacity, and the other two aspects of the noun, how simply we can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Now, yeah. everybody with me on this so far? Yes. 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 Okay, good so, job. The, the, the only difference is to, in order to make the word is, we have to go with that. Yes. All about the key. Exactly. Now you're following. So this is what I've been saying all along, but if this piece was missing, then you would always get confused. So remember the moment I challenged Sister Nusrat, she changed her sentence. She said, Waladun Zakiun, because I just said, oh, the boy is smart. There was no word the boy. But she is, if she knows the rules, then she will always going to say Al Waladu, because we know that this has to be a Marifa. Yes. Okay. How do you make something Marifa? First thing uh, we said, and we, we kind of jumped out of this, we came here. And we give the example of Zaidun, which is fine. And Ishara we give. Zamir, uh, less the example of Zamir will be Hum Muslimun. You see that? So Hum is a Zamir. Muslimun is that he is Muslim. So he is Muslim. How do I get that? We know that Hum is a pronoun or a Zamir. And a pronoun is also Proper. Marifa. Yes. And it's a Rafa because we know that it's a detached noun and detached nouns are always status of Rafa. It's a male and it's a singular. And Muslimun is common, is a Rafa, it's a male and a singular. So this is how you got the example of Zamir. This is how you make the sentence. Got it? Yes. Okay. So similarly, Ismail Mosul, we can also make sentences out of Ismail Mosul. Anytime you see Allazi, Zalika, uh, Allazi, and those other variations of Allazi, Allazina, Allazane, that could become your Marifa. 
And anytime you have any Arabic word, like say kalamun, you want to make it a, a muptada, you will say al kalamun. Al kalamun. Got it? Is that yes, clear? Sir. Yes. So yeah. next time, when you have to find, if somebody asks you, if this there is a sentence, could you please tell me if this is a nominal sentence or a verbal sentence? Very easy. If it starts with a noun, what kind of sentence it is? Ismia. Nominal. Nominal. Ismia. And if it starts with a verb, it's a verbal. verbal. After I pass that, yes, you have a question? Somebody has a question? Somebody has a question? Okay. So then I want to say that right after you pass that test, you ask yourself, is it is there a where is the muktada? Obviously, muktada means the starting point, the, the sentence is starting with a noun. So right away that thing is your best candidate for muktada. And since the muktada has to be marafa. So you are going to explore those five categories. Making sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, would, just, would you able to repeat again? About? Okay. So I was saying, if somebody challenges you by giving you an Arabic sentence and asks you, could you please tell me what kind of sentence is this? Right? So very first thing you're going to look at the starting point of the, the, the sentence. If it starts with a noun, then what it is? It's a jumla ismiya. Because that's the very definition of jumla ismiya, that it starts with a noun. Okay? And we also know that the very first part of a jumla ismiya, most of the time, is the muktada. Because that's the noun where it's starting the sentence. So the starting sentence, the starting noun is known as muktada, but the muktada has to be marifa. Yes, when I say marifa in English means it is supposed to be a proper. For example, if I start with kalamun, it can't be my muktada. It has to be al kalamu. Got it? Okay. So let's say I give you another sentence. <clears throat> Allahu Akbar. Two boys are Muslims, or both both boys are Muslim. Brother Kabir, let me ask you this: What's the muktada? Boys. In this case, both boys, right? Both boys, yeah. And Khabar? Muslim. Okay, can you please translate? Uh, I don't know two boys, how we can. Walad, al walad. The, okay. al -walad. That is the test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants, to, who wants to say, Brother Kabir, and help me out? Waladan. Okay. So, Walad. Al -walad. Al -walad. Waladani. Okay. So, Wala. Waladani, I think. Something like yeah. that. Waladani. Okay. Then, what is the khabar? Waladani Muslim. Muslim. Al Waladani Muslim. 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 Muslimani. 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 Okay. Muslimani. See, this is what I'm trying to correct you. So, now, Brother Altaf, mashallah, you did it. But uh, can we apply the rules? Is Walidani common or proper? It's uh, it's common. We have to make it Al Waladani. Do you see what I did here, guys? Why did I have to do Al Waladani? Because Waladani was common. And they common. would have been a wrong thing. Now, is Waladani um, Rafa? Yes. yes. Okay. Is it Male? Yes. And is it dual? Dual. Dual, dual. dual. yeah. Okay. Muslimani, is it common? Common. Yes. Is it rafa? Yes. Yes. Is it male? Yes. And it is dual.
Yeah. So, See what I'm doing here. I'm just simply following the rules. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say, girls are righteous. Okay. So who can help me with this? Okay, so girls, what is the, the Arabic of girls? Banat. 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 So he said Banat. Al Banat. Al Banat. Right? So what is the haraka on this? Al Bana. Al Banatu. Al Banatu. Okay, good. Then righteous. Pious. Salihatun. Salihatun. So, Ali Hatun. Ali. Sali Hatun. Okay, now this is this is the part where you have to really help me out. So is it tun, tin, or tan? Sali ha? Tun. Okay. Now, did we do it right? Let's check. Is Albanatu Marifa? Yes. In which category? The Marra Billam. So we added the Al. Got it? Yes. So keep also keep this information in mind that what category of capacity made it proper? The Al. Marra Billam. Is it uh, Rafa? Yes. Yes. Is it female? Yes. Is it plural? Yes. Yes. What about Salihatin? Is it common? Yes. Yes. Rafa, Rafa. Rafa. female, female. Yeah. making sense? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to give you some Arabic later on after this class. And over the weekend, you are going to make it, um, you will give me the translation in plain English. Yes. Sounds good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. If you are clear on this, I want to take you to the next concept. When we did something like Huwa um, Muslimun, what is the translation of Huwa Muslimun? He is Muslim. He is Muslim. Okay. Did you notice that Huwa is one word and Muslim is one word? Yeah. So we call it, it's a combination of Hua plus Musliman. So we call it Mufrad. What do we call it? Mufrad. 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 Somebody who have accepted Islam. Single. Yes. So if you can say Mufrid, also meaning Wahid. Okay. Everybody okay on that or are you start to get confused? No, simple. Yeah. Okay. Simple. Because Mufrid means single. If you want, if you don't want to use the word Mufrid, you can say single. Single. Yeah. Single. Okay. So, we have something called phrases, right? Yes. So, if I say, tall man, what is tall man? Rajulun Tavilun. Murakabe Tosifi. Right? Tall man is Murakabe Tosifi, right? Yes, yes. So if I say something like this, uh, let's do the translation of this. Rajulun Rajulun Tavilun. Guys agree with me? Yep. Okay. I want to say tall man is Muslim. 
رجل طویل مسلم رجل طویل مسلم ٹھیک ہے مرکب توسیفی کو That's correct. But Muqtada has to be proper now. Yeah. Agree? Yes. So in order to make Rajulun Tawilun, he has to say Ar Rajulu Tawilu Tawilun Muslimun Muslimun Ar Raju Ar Rajulu Tawilu Muslimun. Because why In Murakab and Tawseefi, we have two pieces. We have Mursuf and no, Sifu. We have to add Al before Tawil? Yes. Brother Abed, for, for Murakab and Tawseefi, itself okay. without Al should be Mubtada. No, 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 no. See, that, that is the part I'm trying to make sure that you guys understand the difference. Rajulun Tawilun means the tall man. But look at the status of that, right? The status is a rafa. And hmm. that is why I'm trying to give you this information that murakkab e tawseefi is made up of mawsuf and sifa. And in, in the all four categories, they follow each other. Okay? Do they follow each other? Do you know that? Yes. Okay. So if I have rajulun, I have to say ar rajulu, right? You will agree with me, right? Yeah. But I'll talk. I, I, I'm getting that. But when you are saying Al-Rajulu Tawilun, Tawilun, Tawilun. Then it's Tawilun. Why do we have Al-Tawilun? Because if you're adding Al-Rajulun, that is okay. like for the first word. Oh, now I got it. Now okay. I got it. All right. So you, okay, okay, here. Otherwise, if you're not adding Al, then yes. it will be in sentence itself. It so, will not be to, Murakkab Tawseefi. Yes, so recipe for Tawseefi. Yeah. Man is tall. Then is a man is tall. If it, it is. is. So Murakkab Tawseefi has two parts. Yeah. Mosuf and Sifa. Everybody good with this? Mm -hmm. What are the four qualities we have? We have proper or category capacity. Let's say Rafa and male and single. Uh, Then they, the, the quality, the recipe for Murakab Tawseefi is that both Mosuf and Sifa has to be same. Okay? So if Mosuf is common and Nakira, female, dual, then Sifa has to be common, Nakira, female, and dual. Making sense? So it doesn't matter. Whatever I do to the Sifa, or Mosuf, they have to match each other. Is that part understood? Yes. yes. Okay. So if I only had Rajulun, you had no problem doing it a Rajulu. Right? Because this was Mufrad, single. But the moment I made a Tosifi, you guys are getting thrown off that a Rajulu is fine. But why do I have to say At-Tawilu? Because the, the Murakkab Tosifi works that way. If you are going to change the mausuf, the sifa has to follow it. Who understood that now? Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's clear now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But Everything then, clear? I, yeah. These, uh, uh, so there are two uh, uh, words over there. Uh, for example, just uh, hypothetically, if there are three words, for example, uh, uh, tall, uh, tall, lean man. So, for example, if that... Tall, uh, fat man. Yeah, Yeah, okay. so then if that is all again, we have to uh, see. Keep on adding all to the, those. Yeah, so if you are in this case, I am not using, I'm using Mufrid here. Khabar is Mufrid, but my Mubtada is not Mufrid. Mufrid is Murakkab et Tawseefi. You see the point I'm trying to say? So the, the, if I give the title to this, this concept, I say use of 
fragments in jumla ismia okay do you do you see do you agree with me what i'm trying to do now the reason i tell you that the sentence was pretty simple when it was who a muslim on because it was only singular singular now instead of using a single muqtada i am trying to use a murakkab and in this case i am using murakkab with tawsifi got it okay right when i am using murakkab with tawsifi if i put it in the place of muqtada then i have to follow the rules of muqtada that it has to be proper so if i make rajulun proper then the sifa has to follow it okay. everybody clear yeah. on that Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir. Well, I bet like, uh, is it like possible if we do like a rajul only tawilun, not the uh, al tawilun? Uh, okay. Why is that? Like you, you can say that too, right? A rajulun tawilun Muslimun means the like we were talking about the uh, male person, like the man is tall. He a tall man is a Muslim. There's yes, tall speak, man is like a Muslim, this. but again, like to make remember, it this proper, right? To make al tawilun to into proper noun. So, if Come I'm using murakkab right? tosifi, listen to me again. If yeah. murakkab tosifi comes in the place of muqtada, uh -huh. yeah, can muqtada be common? Can no. muqtada be common? No. No. So is no, rajulun no. common or proper? Proper. Rajulun is not proper. It's common. It's common. Rajulun is common. But then we we did like al rajulun here. Yes, what but but when you person. yes, but when you do this and you know that this is a murakkab tosifi, then murakkab tosifi says you cannot break me from my partner. If you give me making him proper, you have to make me proper as well. Okay. Okay. Got it. So if the if that makes sense, that is why I made this chart. That whatever the 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 condition of the mosu, the sifa has to follow. Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I'm clear. Thank you so okay, much. Okay. Good. So this was the example of murakkab tosifi. Tosifi. No, murakkab tosifi. Again, uh, if we make a chart, we know that we'll come back to this. I want. I don't want to throw you off. Right now. Let's talk about murakkab izafi. Okay. Murakkab izafi is something like this. If I want to say Quran is word of Allah. 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 Okay. So what is Muqtada here? Quran. Quran. Everybody clear on that? Yeah. Word of Allah. It's khabar. Quran is mufrad. Yes. But word of Allah is mudaf. 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 In other words, murakkab e tosi idafi. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. So what is the muqtada? What is the translation of Quran in Arabic? If I want to make a sentence now, how uh, Sister Umema? Let's let me ask Sister Umema. Mr. Umema, how would I write this sentence in Arabic? Are you there? Okay, looks like she's out. Sister Fazilat, would can I help, ask you for help? Al Quranu. Al Quranu. Kalimatullah. Kalamullah. Kalamullah. Kalamullahi. 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 Now, if so, this is Muqtada? Yes. Yeah. And this is Khabar. Yes. So, what, what are you noticing? These Murakkabat, mm. they can come as Muqtada and they can also come as Khabar. Okay. Right? Yes. Can I say something like this? Word of Allah is true. 
Can I say that? So what yes. is my muktada? Word of Allah. What is my khabar? True. Okay. So how would I write it? I'll say. Al kalamullah. Kalamullah. He. Kalamullah. Akun. Akun. Now, can I add al kalamu? Al kalamullah he because it's supposed to be marifa. Al kalamullah. खबर वी नो दिस कॉमन it is rafa we know it's a male it's a singular right now my question is if kalamullah is muqtada then don't we have to have a marifa word here al kalamullah yeah yes yeah sure yes. so do should i say al kalamullah um no i don't think so it okay. won't sound right it won't sound right yeah. so then you have to go back to the murakkab izafi how many parts murakkab izafi has la afla afla again this is review the rule number 1 for mudaf no al yeah no al no tanwin okay no. And number 2 no tanwin no So can I have al kalamu? No. Wait. No. For the mudafile, al is okay, and if you look at Allah, already has al in it. But the second thing is, it is has to be majroor. Majroor. Is kalamu lai majroor because mm. of the mudaf mudafile? Yes. So that is why kalamu lai will not change. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So what what is the 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 scenario here? The muda the murakkab izafi can be a khabar, and murakkab izafi can be muqtada. Are we clear on this? Yes. Mm. Everybody, I want everybody to say I'm clear. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, since we are doing review, I'm hoping that. that after repeating again and again and again finally it's going to stick is it sticking guys mashallah yes alhamdulillah sure okay so let's say another sentence obedience of messenger is obedience of allah. allah okay so first of all let's do the analysis in the english sentence first is is right here so anything before that which is messenger of allah is it my muqtada muqtada is obedience of allah my khabar is khabar yeah is obedience of allah murakkab e izafi Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is khabar murakkab izafi? Yes. Yes. Let's translate it. The the Arabic for obedience is ata. 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 And it's a female word. Ata Allah wa ata Rasul. Ata atu. Ata atu Rasulullah. Ata atu. Ar Rasuli. रसूली 
not only that murakkab e zafi is muqtada is also the khabar making sense so yes. imagine you need to expand your mind and say okay these murakkabat i learned they have their own rules and i can use them in a sentence and they can take the place of muqtada and khabar depending on what i want from them so far so good yeah yes alhamdulillah okay so you see why we had to put ar here because my muqtada has to be rafa proper proper yeah right because it's not rafa is basically majroor but itatu cannot have al because it's mudaf we just talked about it that mudaf yeah. cannot have al and it al cannot have tanween tanween yes Yes. But there is no condition or mudafile that he cannot have al. He can mm-hmm. have al. In the previous sentence, we use the word Allah, kalamullah, and we know that word Allah is already proper because it okay. has the al in it, right? You see my point here? What I'm saying here? Yeah. Right. So in order to, I couldn't have said atatu rasuli. If I had said atatu rasuli, then it would be just murakkab ezafi, not muktada. So I had to polish it a little bit to make it more clear. Brother Alta, so what will be the status of this one? So this status is now this is mudaf mudafilay, but because of our Rasulu, we know that this these two has to follow certain rules. Ita atun ita atu is and because of this marifa now because this is marifa, this is marifa. Remember that. because these two are partners so they they affect each other so by making this marifa this is also considered marifa that's another little point you need to remember if i am using murakkab e izafi as my mubtada i cannot put al on mudaf can i put al on mudaf no no can i put tanween on mudaf no no So the only room I have to play with is mudafila. Mudafila. So mudafila will still stay in the status of majroor, but I can include al on it to make it proper. When mudafila is proper, then mudaf has to follow it. So mudaf will be considered proper. So, so brother Abid, one other the the way I was thinking is that uh, atato. Rasule, because we are talking about a particular Rasul, a specific Rasul, a Rasul. Mm-hmm. So maybe we are always we are ending because of that. No, no, no. We had to put a Rasul here because I decided to use Atatu Rasul as my Muktada. Okay. Right. If I if I switch if I switch the order if I switch if I switch the For Go example, ahead. if it's only murakkab uh, tawsifi, can we mm-hmm. simply say then ataatu rasul rasule? Uh, if it's a murakkab izafi, yeah, murakkab izafi. Yes, uh, I believe so, but it still doesn't sound good. So I, I'm sure it could be said that ataatu rasuli without so, the al al we are using because it's specific to prophet muhammad or the specific rasul no, no, we are no, no. make it muqtada i'm making it muqtada that's why i'm making it proper you right but all the rasul are proper they are not i common. could have said ataatu rasuli like ataat of any rasul a messenger i did not specifically said that okay. this is prophet muhammad i said obedience okay. of a messenger any, okay. allah Got has it. so many messengers yeah Yeah. Okay. Now, since I ran out of time, I still have a lot of material to share with you, but I hope that so far, what I have done with examples, it may have cleared some confusion in your mind. I hope so, and you guys can double that or second that by saying yes or no. Oh, I, I very helpful. Very, very helpful. helpful. And again, if you have been missing all this all this time, and I hope you have written it down, and if you. don't have written it down please watch this video again you know i myself watch my video sometime just to make sure that how effectively i presented the material and it looks like it 
when I'm talking, I feel a little bit uh, confused, confused myself sometimes, or I get a little bit worried that I'm not delivering the message right. But when I watched the video, I feel that no, I was going in a lot of detail. And I was trying to be a very, very, uh, trying to make it easy for you guys, right? So I, I hope you see that. I think we sometimes confuse you. <laughs> yeah, so, but then if you watch the video, that confusion will go away. And the yeah. confusion is mostly because of the lack of knowledge. Because you don't have, uh, since I repeat it so many times, all these rules have become my second nature or I can remember them faster than you. But if you start reviewing, inshallah, you will be, uh, like the other day when Sister Noor was challenging me, uh, I wasn't ready to go and compare my notes because I, I didn't want it to stop in the middle of the session and just go on a tangent. But she caught me right away. She said, no, Brother Abi, this is not, this is a typo. It can't be a sentence. That's the kind of confidence I need from all of you. Inshallah. Yeah? Inshallah. Okay, so inshallah, have a nice weekend. Uh, and please, just a 15-minute review or watching this video, maybe in four you know, episodes, will help you a lot. Because again, in next uh, time when we do the worst, these co concepts will come back and then you, will, you would not have any issues understanding them, inshallah. Okay? okay. Thank you, Brother Abhi. Jazakallah. Thank you. Now, if I sent you the homework, please do it. Don't just sure. ignore it. Okay? okay? Do it whether it's right or wrong, but please do it. Please do it. Okay? Inshallah, we will try. Assalamu okay. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.